Those are not my geese, they're just flying over us. Uh, something must be up <laughs> in the air because everything is um, it's kind of crazy around here. Morning. What's everyone doing? Okay, I'm gonna go get food for all these ladies. Yesterday and I ended up finishing the alley and I did finish theirs too. So now, look at this door. It opens effortlessly. <laughs> so little things. Oh, I also changed the hay feeder. I feel like sometimes I waste a lot with this ones that have big holes and that there's not enough room for five goats. But at the same time, um, with the other one on the bottom, a lot of it was falling to the back. And so I'm, I'm just trying, going back and forth and trying to see what it works keeping an eye on Mocha to see if she comes back up to heat. Yesterday I thought I heard like, you know, the weird noises that they make when they're in heat. Annabelle, it's on day 20 after last month. I have goats trying to eat my camera. Last month uh, breeding to Rocky, so she should be bred unless tomorrow she comes back into heat. I've been keeping an eye on Mocha. Mocha, it's kind of hard to read with her heats, but yesterday I thought I heard her being uh, weird by the fence and making weird noises, but then I figured it was Clara. Now Clara, it's been a little naughty lately. Um, Clara got into a little bit of trouble the other day. She decided to start eating screws and I had to open her mouth and kind of put it down and shake it so the screws would come out. I don't know if she would have chewed them and, you know, trying to <laughs> and try to eat them, but it was definitely a little bit scary to see her do that. I, since then, changed I talked to my vet I changed her uh, minerals because she explained that sometimes when they have a deficiency um, they tend to go for other things that they shouldn't be eating but I'm telling you Clara is like this year-round like she's very curious I don't know if you guys watch Annabelle's birth last year oh well not her birth but her kidding last year when she had Taz and Clara was making her super nervous because she was staying outside this pen right here talking to Annabelle. And Clara is a curious goat. I mean, there's no doubt about that. She's just curious and she is, she likes to get into things that she shouldn't. And this is year round. Uh, and I haven't noticed that in other of my goats. It's mostly Clara. So I talked to my vet and she said that maybe is something that she is lacking on her minerals. So I changed her minerals. She recommended this kind of minerals that I've never heard of before. I can't remember the name. I'll try to remember, remember and put it on the screen. So I'll... I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but I'm telling you, even um, by giving her this other uh, minerals, she is still being naughty and she's still trying to eat everything that she can. I honestly don't think it's the minerals. I think she is just naughty. So anyways, um, after she ate or tried to eat some of those uh, screws, she had a little bit of a bleeding problem, her butt area, so I don't know, I don't know if she did end up <laughs> eating the screw or not, but she was crying yesterday and she was following me everywhere and I honestly didn't know what it was that she was feeling and it seems like there's nothing now in her butt anyways <laughs> her bag is filling up look at that 
So the vet asked me to keep an eye on her and make sure that she was pooping normally. And I tried yesterday, I looked and I couldn't see her do it. So today I stayed until I saw it happen and it happened like three or four times. So I think she should be okay and that's according to what we figure with my vet without taking her in. Oh, she is super pregnant and she is about to kid so of course I don't want to stress her and take her to the vet unless it's absolutely necessary but at this point uh, she hasn't been crying or being loud like yesterday she might have passed the screw if she did eat it we're not even sure she had it uh, in case that that you know we wanted to pursue that she would have needed to be scanned and a lot of things that really is not something that is advised when they are this pregnant and without showing any kind of distress or any kind of symptoms that there's something really wrong with them so in a nutshell she could have eaten that screw and passed it somehow or she just never did and she was having a bad day. She's being herself, she's not staying separated from anybody, so I think we're on the clear for now with her. And I think I ended up cleaning more of the barn because I wanted to make sure that there were no more screws there or anything that she could eat. I mean, I have this dog color remote and look what she did in 2.3 seconds when she found it in my pocket. I mean, she's naughty and I guess it's a story of her life. Clara is due this Saturday, so today is Monday and just things need to be happening. But in the meantime, everyone, it's been really hormonal, been uh, fighting with each other and headbutting like crazy. So you can see they're being impatient with the hole. They want to jump on the top to eat or get more hay. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I can't blame Annabelle because these two little girls are so naughty. Even her mom, Mocha there, sometimes she is over it. She's like, oh, excuse me, girls, go find yourself boyfriend and move on with your lives so have piles and piles of manure been throwing it over the fence but now it's too high I'm telling you hormones there everyone is in such a terrible mood lately so I'm gonna have to use that first has mulch on the duck pen finish that garden bed that is over there and start filling it up. There's gonna be a lot of things that need to go in there before I can even get to the top to use the manure. I'm also gonna use more on that bed in the back. So this needs to go to the other side today because I don't, I, I don't want them to go through it even though they're not <laughs> really interested in it. But I am going to, see? And then the little girl goes in the middle. Like, stop fighting. But then they fight with each other, the little ones do. So today is gonna be a pretty busy day. I need to fix the bunny door. I mean, two minutes and so much drama. Taz is doing okay. I don't see any kind of infection. He's eating, he is um, doing all his business, like pooping and everything seems normal he's not staying to himself he is not separated from the other bugs even though or the <laughs> rocky and uh, our weather because he's still fighting for food and he's still hanging out with them so it seems like even though he is a little crazy and getting in trouble it seems like it wasn't uh, it wasn't something that uh, required antibiotics. I'm still gonna keep an eye on him to make sure that he doesn't. The other day, <laughs> I can't tell you. Bree, Bree, 
These little girls think that they are still baby goats and they are six months old, they're heavy and they are super strong. So, no, Gaia. Listen, you and I, we need to talk. I am not a mountain. I am not a mountain. I am not a mountain. And I don't like to be chewed on. Okay? Good talk. I have my best my bestie here, Yanni. She, unlike the little girls, she just sits by me and she stares until I start petting her. Like right now she's smelling the camera, but she is such a sweet girl. She has a terrible, terrible temperament with other goats. Like, she'll put everyone in its place, but she is the sweetest goat <laughs> for a human. You're so sweet, Annabelle. And I think you're pregnant. You know, that makes you extra sweet. Do you like to be pregnant? No, little girl. No, little girl. And see, this is how it starts. And they headbutt each other. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That little girl is trying to get in the way. You should try to get in our way. You're sweet. Very sweet of thinking out loud. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time, and I know it so well. I will always be by your side. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby